question one simplify 10 whole number 2 over 5 minus 6 whole number 2 over 3 plus 3 solution this is the given problem you simply convert the missed fractions to improper fractions if you convert this you have 52 over 5 that is 5 times 10 50 plus 2 52 over 5 if you convert this you have minus 20 over 3 you can write 3 as 3 over 1 in this form the LCM of 5 3 and 1 is 15 the rule is that you divide the LCM by each denominator your answer times numerator so 15 divided by 5 you have 3 3 times 52 you have 156 the same 15 divided by 3 you have 5 5 times 20 that is 100 divide 15 by 1 is 15 times 3 you have 45 if you subtract and add you have 101 over 15 this answer is not in the option so you convert it to missed fraction and you have 6 whole number 11 over 15 B is the correct option question 2 if 2 3 base s is equal to 3 2 base 5 find the value of s here you simply convert each side to base 10 to do that you multiply each digit by the base number and you assign the position of each digit to the base starting from zero position of three is zero and two is one so here you have zero and one so you multiply two by s to the power of one the position of two that is what you have here plus three times s to the power of zero equal to three times five to the power of one plus two times five two times five to the power of zero s power one is s so two times s you have two s s power zero is one one times three is three equal to 15 plus 2 here is 15 here you have 2 so if you add the like terms you have 2s plus 3 equal to 17 collect like terms 2s is equal to 17 minus 3 and that is 14 divide through by 2 s is equal to 7 a is the correct option question 3 the volume of a cube is 512 cube centimeters find the length of each side if the side is to be s volume of a cube is equal to s cube the volume is 512 equal to s cube to get s from s cube you simply take the cube root of both sides so s is equal to cube root of 512 and that is 8 c is the correct option the bar chart below shows the scores of some students in a test use e to answer questions 4 and 5 question 4 how many students took the test solution you get the number of 
students by considering their scores or marks. Students that scored zero marks from the bar chart, they are four. Those that score one mark, they are two. Those that score two marks, they are five. Those that score three marks, they are six. Those that score four marks, they are three. If you add all together, you have 20. So 20 students took the test. C is the correct option. Question five. If one student is selected at random, find the probability that he or she scores at most two marks. At most two marks means two marks and below. That is less than or equal to two. So you have probability of those that score two plus those that score one plus those that score zero. Those that score two, they are five over total students. Those that scored one, they are two students over total. Then four students scored zero over total. You have like fractions. You simply add the numerator and you have 11 over 20. B is the correct option. Question 6. Simplify root 12, bracket open, root 48, minus root 3. Solution. Express each term in basic form before expanding, especially root 12 and root 48. What you do here is that you, you express 12 and 48 by bringing out the perfect number in there. Factor of 12 and 48, that is a perfect number. So 12 becomes 4 times 3. 48 becomes 16 times 3. So you, you, you express it in this form root 4 is 2 then you have 2 times root 3 3 is not a perfect number so you, es you express it in root form root 16 is 4 so you have 4 root 3 minus root 3 all in bracket if you expand now 2 times 4 you have 8 now, root 3 times root 3 is root 9, and root 9 is 3. So you have 8 times 3 minus 2 times the 1 that is here, you have 2, and root 3 times root 3 is 3. So you have 24 minus 6 equal to 18. A is the correct option question seven which of the following number line represents the solution to the inequality minus nine less than two over three s minus seven less than five you have the various options solution you take the given inequality First, clear the fraction by using 3 to multiply through. So you have minus 27, that is minus 9 times 3, less than 2s minus 21, less than 15. We can solve it directly without breaking it down. So this is what happened. You transfer minus 21 to both sides both left and right so you have minus 27 plus 21 less than 2s less than 15 plus 21 if you decide to break it down you have the first and second term 
as one expression, the second and third term as another expression. That is why we are transferring minus 21 to both sides, it becomes plus. So you have minus 6 less than 2s less than 36. Divide through by 2 and you have minus 3 less than s less than 18. The symbol we have here is street symbol and you use open dot or open circle to represent it. Going by that understanding, A is the correct option. You have open dot here with the note less than and the other side. Here, the arrowhead is not shown since you have the given solution in a range. Question 8. In the diagram, the value of s plus y is equal to 220 or it should be 200 degrees. Yes, 200 degrees. Find the value of n. For us to get n, we need this angle and this angle so that if you add the three angles, the sum is equal to 180 degrees. So the, the diagram is adjusted by marking angle A and B. Now if you add Y plus B, or let's take it from this side, A plus S is equal to 1. 80 degrees straight line angles because we don't need a let's make a the subject and you have this result if you add b and y equal to 180 if you make b the subject you have this so in the triangle if you add the three angles the sum is equal to 180 degrees from the first Two statements n is unknown, a is equal to this, and b is equal to this. The sum is 180 degrees. So we have 180 degrees plus 180 degrees. You have n plus 360 degrees. Now let's transfer minus s and minus y to the right hand side you have s plus y now if you move this one to the left it becomes minus so if you subtract these two you have n plus 180 degrees equal to s plus y which is 200 you have it in this form if you collect like terms, you have n equal to 200 degrees minus 180 degrees and that is 20 degrees. A is the correct option. Question 9. Given that S is greater than Y and 3 is less than Y, which of the following is or are true? We have three parts to consider. Looking at the given parts before the options, we can obtain the first part by interchanging the position of 3 and y in this expression. So let's try and get that first. This is the given expression. So 3 less than y simply means y is greater than 3. If you interchange the position of 3 and y, the symbol of inequality changes. Now, s is greater than y. y is greater than 3. It simply means s is greater than 3. But what you have here and the second part, they are not the same. So we discard this. Already this one is true from this place. Now let's try and combine 
s is greater than y y is greater than 3 if you combine you have it in this form that means part 1 and part 3 combined together give option c as the correct option question 10 three quarters of a number added to two and half of that number gives 13 find the missing number let the number be s from the question three quarter of s is added to two and half of s so you start from two and half of s in this form plus three quarter means three over four times s the sum is 13 if you convert the first term to improper fraction you have 5 over 2 times s plus 3 over 4 times s equal to 13 multiply through by 4 to clear fractions you have 10 s plus 3 s equal to 56 that is 4 times 13 if you add the common terms you have 10 t s equal to 56 divide through by 13 s is equal to 56 over 13 and that is 4 a is the correct option peter calls simplified maths if you are watching and view from youtube don't forget to subscribe like and share psm videos if you are viewing and watching from facebook follow and like the page also share PSM videos.